Hey guys, today I am filming a video that I think is pretty exciting personally, something that I like to watch. And I am showing you my favorite makeup brushes. And this video is not going to be all Sigma like most brush videos are. So I have a bunch of different brands here. I've recently um, switched a couple of my brushes, um, mostly face. So I'm just going to run through. And this will probably be a little bit of a long video. I'm going to try to make it kind of short, but we'll see how that goes. But first, I just want to show you guys what I store my brushes in. And I think this is the most perfect thing that works for me. And this is a, like a pencil case office organizer. I got it from Walmart for $8. And I hope that you can see it through the mesh, but it's got different compartments here. So this is my eye brushes and this is my face brushes. And I also have got top coats, base coats, tweezers, eyebrow products, and um, like shadow bases in here. But um, this is definitely one of my favorite storage pieces for my makeup and I don't have a problem that my brushes are touching that doesn't bother me I think that the uh, Sephora inspired um, brush holders are very pretty and especially like the ones that uh, Miss Glamorazzi Miss Glamorazzi's DIY video of her brush holders are pretty cute but I think that this works perfect for me I um, don't care about my brushes touching and since I've actually pared down my brushes and gotten new ones everything fits perfectly without them being too shoved in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with face brushes and in the order that I buy them. So the newest addition to my brush collection would be my Real Techniques brushes, which you will see are most of my face brushes. These have taken over the ones that I used to have because these are such good quality and they're so inexpensive. And this is, um, these brushes you can find at Ulta and I just am so in love with these and I'm so glad that I got them and the first thing that I use will be the um, Real Techniques buffing brush and I use this um, to stipple on my foundation and then buff it in. I'm going to link my foundation routine to this video so you can see me actually using these brushes. And next from Real Techniques also from the core collection is the detailer brush which is just a brush that I use to apply concealer on my face and I sometimes blend it in with this but most of the time I'll just pat the buffing brush on top of the concealer so I'm not like wiping it away or anything I'll just pat it into my skin um, it really depends on the, the problem areas and then next is the pointed foundation brush and this is like compared to my face this is kind of small to be a foundation brush so I use this to set my under eye concealer. I put concealer under my eye and on my eyelids so this sets that really well. I usually just use like an elf foundation brush and this one is smaller and it is nice because it does have that point. And what comes next? Next would be my, I'm sorry that all these brushes are dirty, I just used them today. And this would be the elf powder brush from Studio Line. This is a flat top powder brush. $3. I have used this for years and I think it works amazing. This is kind of hard to clean but um, I'm not bothered by it. But this is perfect for me to pack. I mean I put a lot of powder on. I really do to make myself you know, have a matte finish but this is good for like patting it into the skin like so. And I know some people like to use this for liquid foundation but this works perfect for powder for me and I like that it is the flat top it really helps for me to press it into my skin instead of you know wiping it pressing it I really like how that looks and then next would be the Real Techniques powder brush and this is a brush that you buy um, by itself and this is like ten dollars and you can see like this is huge compared to my face this is pretty huge so I actually use this for bronzer um, when I apply it all over my face, this is good for a light dusting. And on my neck, so this doesn't make the bronzer too concentrated. And this also blends it out at the same time. And then I have this angled blush brush, which is from Walmart. And it's like an HD line. I'm not sure what the brand is, but it is the Walmart brushes. And this is like $7 probably. But when I apply blush for my face shape, it looks best 
on my cheekbones, not on my apples. So this is perfect for getting right in there and at the perfect angle for that. And that's why I use this instead of like a regular round um, traditional blush brush. I like this a lot. And last, oh, I have one more. Okay, and then my next face brush would be the Real Techniques Contour Brush with Stitch. It's perfectly hollow, and this is also from the Core Collection. This is like my holy grail brush. I used to use the um, Sony Kasha Small Angle Contour Brush and the Sephora Mineral Powder Brush. And I, I have a problem with applying um, contour too heavily, but this applies it perfectly and blends it out nice. And I, this is like my favorite brush in the world, and I love that um, the dome shape to it. And my last base brush would be the Elf Kabuki face brush. I know a lot of people like to use Kabukis with powder, but I personally love using this to blend out my blush and bronzer and my contour because, like I said, I go really heavy on my cheeks. So this is perfect for blending the two together and just toning them down. And this is like $3 or $6. I'm not sure, but this is so soft and smooth and really cute. And I just really like this. Now I'm going to quickly mention the um, the brushes I use for my eyebrows. And the first is this Sony Cashlick Spoolie. This costs like $2. You can use a regular mascara wand. I like to use this because it's got that nice long handle. And the next is this little angled brush that I got from a Claire's brush set that I used to fill in my eyebrows. And lastly is this Flirt. For cosmetics, which you can buy at Kohl's, um, just an eyebrow eyelash comb, and I use this to comb out my eyebrows after I put the gel on them. Okay, so now I'm moving on to eye brushes, and the first would be my uh, $1 e.l.f. eyelid brush, and this works perfectly for me for packing on color, and you can buy this at Target or eyeslipspaste.com. Next would be the e.l.f. blending eye brush and I use this for my crease because uh, I have a larger more defined crease so this brush fits perfectly in there for that and to I also have a you know a, a um, larger brow bone space so I use this Paris presents dual ended eyeshadow brush because this is fluffy and this is from Walmart this next brush I use for blending and crease work, and that would be the uh, up, up and Up Crease Brush from Target, because comparing these two, this is taller and skinnier, and it's fluffier. Oh, there's a lot of eyeshadow on there, sorry. But, you know, when I'm applying my um, my blending color or my best friend color, I apply it with this because this distributes this really nice. And this is good for the windshield wiper motions. I also sometimes use this to, um, with like a nude shadow to clean up the edges around my crease because I do a really dramatic crease. So this is perfect for that. I really recommend this brush too. And um, if you, this e.l.f. blending brush is not available at Target. It's only available online, and if you want to buy it online, then I recommend picking up the Up and Up crease brush. And as a pencil brush for, you know, my lower lash line, or I actually use this for the outer corner a lot, and that would be the Sigma E30 pencil brush. Looks like this. This is the only Sigma brush I have because I haven't been able to find one from a drugstore that is like this and it was only nine dollars and I really, really like this especially for um, my outer V and sometimes just defining my crease and then the last brush I have is the elf small precision eye brush at first I didn't like this brush and I thought it was a waste of money but recently I've been using this to set my eyeliner on my waterline and on my lower lash line with this like when um setting it with a shadow this applies this really nice because of how small and precise this brush is so yeah guys that was just an overview of all my brushes and my must-haves i will um list them all below and where you can find them and uh, i just want to thank you guys so much for watching and i really hope you like this
this video, please leave a comment below or a video response of your favorite brushes or your brush must-haves. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.